Okay, so when you're trying to identify these these landmark points on here, since you can't see a skeleton, you can only go by bony landmarks that you can kind of palpate and things. So you can you can feel the kind of bottom of the rib cage kind of around this level. So that's gonna that's gonna give you the um, the subcostal line, right? So all you'd have to do is kind of poke in until you kind of felt the bottom of the the rib cage at the front, and that's subcostal. So down here, because transtubercular isn't as easy as you'd think it would be, it's kind of covered over with some, some muscles and things. So the ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine, is easy, to, it's a bony landmark that's not really covered in muscles, it's just having muscles attaching to it. So that one's easy to find. The supracrystal line, or intercrystal line, is going to be the top edge of the iliac crest that you can feel. So if you find that, and you find the anterior superior iliac spine, then when you identify the point kind of in between those two, that's going to be about the same as that kind of um, iliac tubercle point. And when you connect the iliac tubercle points across, that gives you the transtubercular line. Down here, you, you, you can see like, you know, pyramidalis and, and rectus abdominis and things. So practically that's not wildly helpful by itself, but basically the, the furthest point downwards where you can kind of uh, feel bone at the front there, it's going to be the pubic tubercle on each side. And then that's the location of that uh, inguinal ligament. And, and so basically, usually on most people, there's it's not like perfectly flat. There's a transition from the, the kind of thigh to abdomen. Usually there's a kind of a, a little bit of a kind of, you know, bulge there. And so that's that's going to be that that location of the inguinal ligament just running through. And so in, in females, it's going to have the, the the round ligament kind of going to it, which we'll see at some point. And and that's going to have some nerves, which are going to be going to this kind of anterior area called the mons pubis. And in males, it's actually an, an open canal, which has the spermatic cord running in, into it, getting down to the scrotum. So that's what we're going to look at next.